Nevada is really gearing up to be one of the most closely watched Senate races. You have the incumbent Senator Catherine Cortez Masto going up against her Republican challenger, Adam Laxalt. Now, Catherine Cortez Masto was first elected in 2016, and she is the first Latina elected to the United States Senate. So she definitely has very much of a historical background when we look at this race. And speaking of Latinas and Hispanic voters, we know that that is definitely a voter contingency that's been very much zeroed in on during this race. Nevada is very much, I would say, a microcosm of the country in that it has a very strong widespread immigrant population as well as rural parts, urban parts of the state. So it's something that is seen as a bit of a litmus test going in to 2022 and obviously 2024. It's a litmus test also in that you have a moderate establishment Democratic senator going up against a very Trumpian and Trump-backed candidate in Adam Laxalt. We know that Adam Laxalt has taken a very conservative stance on a number of issues, whether it's immigration, abortion, and the economy. So we will see, I think Donald Trump and his allies will be watching to see how someone like Adam Laxalt performs in a state like Nevada, a swing state, which could determine the Senate majority in 2022 and also the presidential race in 2024. Immigration is also a huge issue when it comes to Nevada. It's obviously relatively close to the border and we know that border issues, especially for Republicans, has been a very big issue going into 2022. We should very much expect Adam Laxalt to continue to very much drill into that issue. However, there are Democrats like Catherine Cortez Masto who are zeroing in on issues that would benefit Democrats potentially in a general election including abortion. We know that Catherine Cortez Masto and her Democratic allies in the state have touted the issue of abortion in Nevada, especially since we saw Senator Lindsey Graham, a senator from South Carolina, announce a proposed nationwide ban on abortion. I think we should have a law at the federal level that would say after 15 weeks, no abortion on demand, except in cases of rape, incest, to save the life of the mother. And that should be where America's at. We have seen senators like Cortez Masto very much try to make that a centerpiece of their campaign and in a way trying to paint Adam Laxalt and his Republican allies as extreme on the issue. And speaking of being extreme on issues, Nevada is another example of a state where you are seeing Democrats paint Republicans as being extreme or as President Biden would say, being MAGA extremists. We are seeing that Democrats are very much trying to tie a lot of these Republican candidates to former President Trump. And that is absolutely the case in Nevada. So I think Nevada is definitely an experiment for Republicans and Democrats in 2022, because obviously it could play a very deciding role in the midterm elections, but going into 2024, it could play a deciding role in how Democrats and Republicans craft their midterm messaging.